What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today we're going to be testing out Ryobi's door latch installation kit. Let's get straight into it guys, let's do this. Alright guys, so today we're going to be testing out Ryobi's door latch installation kit. If you're not sure what a door latch installation kit is, it helps you recess the latch on your doors. So that little recessed area that your latch sits into, this will help you notch it out so much easier than using a traditional chisel and hammer. I've been using the old version for years and I absolutely love it. Nothing to complain about, but now they've got a new version out, so I thought I'd pick it up and test it and see just how well it works. The main differences between the two, as far as I can tell so far, is the shape of it. The shape is obviously a little bit different. The color, I much prefer this navy blue compared to the lime green, um, personal preference. And we've got a 90 degree fence that's now included in the new one. Now the 90 degree fence is gonna help you line this one here up, make sure it's nice and square on your door position correctly. Um, but I haven't really had any issues with this one here. Just simply line it up straight to begin with and then tap it in place. So we're going to compare the two. I'm going to open this one here up, show you guys the basic features of it, and then we'll test it out on some doors. So we'll open this one here up. So in terms of feel, um, they both kind of feel very similar. One's a little bit wider than the other, but they're both very comfortable so far. About the same weight. We've got a flatted um, attachment here, and we've got a Phillips on the back. You can insert that into the tip in case you don't have a screwdriver. Oh, it's magnetic as well. So in case you don't have a screwdriver handy or a drill, you can use that feature there. I've personally never used it on the other one and I've lost both of them. So they definitely handy if you wanted to use it, um, but I personally don't use them. We've got our little fence here on the side. I'm not too sure how this comes out just yet. So there we have it. Our fence should be inserted somewhere on the side. Now it's got two different rebates, I'm assuming for a 35 and a 40, there we go, so 45 mil thickness, which is not that common, 35 is probably your standard internal doors, 40 mil is for your external doors, um, but they've got 45 here, so I haven't got an external door that we're going to be testing this one here on, but we will definitely be using it for the 35 mil, simply slot it in place, stick that up against the door and then you can tap it in place. So we'll test this one here out in a second and see how well it works. Um, but like I said, I haven't had any issues using the regular one without the fence to begin with. So it's not really gonna be a deal breaker regardless. Now we've got our little uh, rebate area here or our chisel area. Now this little notch here simply sits in the hole which I'm gonna show you guys in a second that you've bored out um, for your latch. And you can pop this section here out and change it over to either um, a radius um, latch or a squared latch. So just basically a curved corner or a square corner. To pop this out, you push down on the back here. So we've got that little section in the middle. Pop it, flip it, and we're ready to go. So that one there is the rounded radius or rounded corners. Pop it out. Vast majority of times it'll be a squared one and push that one there back in. Now you will find sometimes you might have to just take out a little bit of the corners. I usually do this with a utility blade or a chisel, um, but we'll test it out in a second. And then we've got our little chiseling section right here. So that's pretty much the gist of this one here. Let's test it out on some uh, real life doors and see how well we work, um, see how well this one here works. So here we've got a perfect example where the latch hasn't been recessed. And as you can tell, it protrudes out from the side of the door. Now the issue with that, when you try and close the door, you can see that it rubs up against the uh, strike plate here, and that's not the way it's supposed to be installed. So I'm gonna quickly pull this one here apart, and I'll show you guys how to use the door latch installation kit. So now we've got the latch removed. You can see here that there's only a hole that's been bored out for the latch, but it hasn't been recessed in. And this is where this tool comes in really handy. Rather than having to try and chisel all this section here out, we can use this tool with the hammer, and we'll be able to remove that section there out. So all we need to do is we line up our little lug here, making sure whether you've got a rounded radius or a um, square on the edge of your latch. Um, so in this case here, we've got a square. Simply drop that straight into position. Now, usually what I'd have to do is eyeball this to make sure that it's sitting nice and straight. But we've got a little fence here that we can um, use in this case. So we'll set it on 35 mil because this one here is a 35 millimeter internal door. And now we can rest the fence up against the side and that should square everything off for us. So we've got that one there lined up. We can take the hammer now, give it a couple taps 
um, on the top and the bottom side right here and here. And then you can just wiggle this one here back out. And you can see there we've recessed the perimeter of it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a chisel function, which is this section here on top. All you need to do is just make sure that you keep these lugs here flat up against the door when trying to chisel it out. So we're going to insert it. Make sure it's nice and flat. And then we're going to tap it down. Back that one there off. And you can see there we've removed our little bottom section. Remove the excess material, flip the tool around, and do the same thing going up. You can see there we've got the bulk of that material out. I'll give it one more pass. Make sure we've completely removed all that material. Clear all that material out of there. And now we've got that section there completely recessed, ready to go for our latch to be reinstalled. Now we can reinstall the latch. Put the screws back in. And once that's done, we've now got our latch nicely recessed into the door. So when we close it, we've got plenty of clearance up against the strike plate, which is the way it's supposed to be. So there you have it guys, the Ryobi door latch installation kit. Nice and simple, very straightforward. Definitely worth the money. It's probably about $20 I think from memory. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video and you've learned something new. As always guys, like, comment and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching. Bill's out too.